How to make buttons the easy way. What's going on, everybody? Um, welcome back, Android Pre K tutorials. Um, this tutorial is how to set up buttons the easy way. Pretty sure you followed the other tutorial on how to set up debug devices and create an applications. You obviously have all of the software installed, but now you want your application to do stuff. The easiest way to do it is with a button. There's two ways. There's a long form way that you should use, and there's the easy way that I'm going to show you right now, just so you can get in there and make a button and do some stuff. So, without further ado, let's get it in. Okay, first thing what you need to do is you need to create an application. Your application is already created. You open up the main XML file that's inside the resources folder, the layout folder. You open it up, you'll get a file that looks like this. You should have a basic text view with um, some text in it that says hello world whatever your application is named so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this for right now and we're gonna come over to the palette in the palette go down to form widgets you should see a button what we're gonna you could use an image button or we could use a regular button we're just gonna use a regular button for right now and we're gonna add this button into our layout all you gotta do is just drag and drop it now you can see we have a button right here with the button text okay cool what you need to do to make the button do stuff, we're going to start it off. You got to double click, it'll take you into the code view, the XML code view, and we need to clean up this code real quick. All right, you can see we have the, what, you, what I like to do is just um, put your cursor in front of the attribute, enter down and tab, and that way you can have a um, clean structure to your code. And just keep doing it for all of the other attributes and then just bring down the close brackets under everything now you can see you have all your attributes lined up and it makes a lot of sense okay cool what we need to do is I'm going to change the width attribute to fill parent just because I want to change the way it looks so and now we have that set to change to um, fill parent now when you come back over to the graphical layout you can see the button fills up the entire screen. You don't need to do that. I just wanted to do that just so it, it would look like that. All right. The one attribute that you need to add in is we need to add an on click listener to the button. This is an easy way to do it. All you have to do is just type in Android, like in every other attribute that you type in, and then just come press start off with O. And you can see it brings up on click. That's the one we want. That's the hint that comes up. Yes, on click. And we set equals. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our own um, text value in here. So we're going to put our own name. So come back and start typing in. Um, you could let make it say, let me see. Uh, so we want to put a button. Button. That's the name of the on click listener that Java is going to listen to once it's implemented in the method. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we just need to make sure you put a name here. And we're going to remember what this name is. Okay, cool. So I'm going to just select it and copy it. Just so when I'm over in the code, I can see what's up. Now we have that set. And our button has an on-click listener on it already. So when the button is pressed, it will set the on-click listener to button, button. Okay. To what, well, whatever you set that name to, that's what the on-click listener is going to set. Now it will make sense. What you do next is you go over the source, open up your package, open up your activity your Java should pop up. In order to get your um, Java set up for your button, first thing you need to do is up in um, right next to where it says extends activity, come right over here before the squiggly bracket and you need to type in implements make sure I'm spelling this right implements view dot on click listener that's what we wanted to implement because you um normally what you would do is you would set the view on click listener for every button and you'll do that if you're doing on um, like buttons inside of a list and stuff like that in like every other occasion when <laughs> you should put a button but just for a simple button on the screen we could do it like this and we'll implement the view on click listener into the activity itself that way it's set right there we don't have to type this in anymore um, you can see you have an error over here it says create interface view. What we need to do is we need to 
uh, um, come down right after the on create, and we need to implement this method real quick. So what we'll do is we'll put public void on click parentheses view space v. You can put view or v, and that'll work too. And then what you do is you um, select out of it, cursor out. Now that we at the um, back of the close parentheses, we'll just put an open squiggly bracket and a closing squiggly bracket. Okay, now you can see under view we have an error. And since we just hovered over it right here, it brought up the quick fixes available. You could also see that we have an error over here. The view cannot be resolved to type. So we'll just press on that. We'll left click on it, I should say. And then you can see inside the hints, the same list comes up. And you can see it says import view. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to import this declaration right now. So it's implemented in the um in the Java real quick, in the activity. Now you can see we don't have the error anymore because we just had to import the, those declarations in. Now it's implemented in the method and you have the, um, well it's implemented in the activity and you can have the, the method implemented right here. So now everything is set up for our button. Now you just come down to public void again and this is where you're going to put the name of whatever your on click is. You see right here the on click. Remember inside of our XML we named the on click button button. You named it whatever you wanted, but we named ours button but I named mine button button. So what I'm going to do is inside here the public void, this is the button that we're I'm um, listening to. Put your parentheses view V or you can type view right there and you can see we get our closed parentheses. All right, now we need to put another curly bracket, open curly bracket, close curly bracket to close it off, enter down, and now you have everything set up for your button. All right, and now I'm going to show you why doing your buttons like this is so easy. Because once you have the on click listener um, implemented in your activity itself, then you have this method implemented inside your activity. Now all you have to do is just um, put public void and set your on click listener name for all your buttons after that. So all you would have to do inside your XML code is just add for another button, just change the name of the um, on click listener. So like say you wanted to make another button, you just copy and paste this, enter down. All right, cool. Now you want to add an activity for this button. You could just change this to button two. Go back over to your Java because now you have a new on-click listener on your button itself. Now inside the Java, all you need to do is set up public void. And then whatever the name of your on-click listener is. So this one is going to be named button, button two. And then set parentheses view. You need to put in the code for whatever you got going on. All right, cool. Now we just put our squiggly curly brackets, closing curly brackets, and see is that easy? You don't have to do anything else to make a new button. You already all you have to do is just add your on click listener to the button inside the XML view because our on click listener is on the button itself. And since we already have this code right here, since we already have the method and we already have the on click listener implemented in the activity all we have to do is just put the um button buttons code right here and we make a new button just change the name of the on click listener and that's all you need to do and you can come down here and make another toast blah 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 if you wanted to whatever you want to make it do so that's why I say it's that easy to make buttons this way Okay, first thing what we need to do is now that our button is ready to do stuff, we need to give it something to do. So what we are going to do is I'm going to set up a simple toast message. You know toast message when you send an email or you save something or you change a property inside our options and then it comes up and it says this option was just changed or you just sent the email. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a toast message. So first what we need to do is start typing in toast. 
toast dot and we're gonna let the hints do most of the work because like I told you before I don't like typing so toast dot make toast you could put on um, this or you could put get application context but for right now we'll just type this and everything else will just come up well right here is where you set the text and this right here is where you set the duration you can set it to either long or short I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to set the text real quick you can set the text to a text string or just like everywhere else you could just set it to some text just put your open quotes close quotes and we can just put our text inside of here so this is the toast um you just pressed a button alright cool now we have our text inside the toast message you just pressed the button put a period at the end okay now we need to come over to duration and we need to set the duration. The duration is just how long it's going to um, show up on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to type toast. As you can see when we started off typing toast to make text, you can see that we hit the period again. Now we have the um, options for the length and the duration length. So now we can set the length to long and short. We're going to set it to long. And then now that we have it set up, it's set it to toast make text this text you just press the button and then toast this is the length and set the length for this long okay now we need to curse it out after the parentheses and we need to put period show because now we want it to show what we just typed in and now this is set to um, set the duration length long so set it to a long duration show up for long and then dot show and we just finished that off okay now our button that we have set up is when you press the button let me just go over to a graphical layout when you press this button the on-click listener is going to be activity is going to implement the on-click listener that's the method that is going to um, implement and this is your button right here so every time you press this button this text is going to show up inside of a toast message with whatever text you want to put inside of here and you can set this length to long or short but this is the text and you can set this to a text string like going over to the um values and setting a string inside of here and you can just reference the string I'll probably show you how to do that if we have enough time but for right now we're gonna see what this looks like so what we're going to do is we're gonna come up to the debug I already have one set up obviously if you need to set one up you make your um you make your debug configuration set it up whether you want it to go to your hardware device I mean or if you wanted to go to your virtual device I wanted to go to my um my virtual device so my emulator so I'll just select that but that was just to show you real quick follow the other tutorial if you want to know how to set that up. but just press debug yes you want to save it alright now go over to our debug device wait for this to start up and I'll show you what this looks like okay now that the application started up you can see this is the application that we set button tutorial or whatever you named your application and inside of our application our content view is set blank because there's nothing down there but we just have our button now when you press your button your button should do something See, and you set up a toast message, you just press the button. You do it again, you can have tons of fun with that, you just set and press the button. Now we can come back to our screen, to our um, activity inside of our button, and we can change the text. You just press the button. I bet you feel like a genius. Come over here, save that send it to your debug, press F11, Alt-Tab, open up your debug, and wait for it to start up. Alright, your application starts up again. You can see you have the same application, same button, button, button. And when you press your button, you should see the toast message pop up down here. You just press the button, I bet you feel like a genius. Congratulations, you've just set up a button.